let's now move on to the last programming screen cast where we are going to validate this theorem experimentally that if there is a cluster of density greater than 1 minus q in your network then you can never achieve a complete cascade what we are going to do for this we need certain parameters so these are the parameters which we take let the payoff associated with your behavior b which was your initial behavior on the network is 2 let the payoff associated with a new behavior which is coming up in your network be 3. So the value of Q become equals to 2 by 5. So you remember how did we calculate this Q? So you can actually go back and watch it. The value of Q is as we calculated was B divided by A plus B which is 2 by 5 here which is 0 0.4. What does it mean? It means that in this network where initially everybody has adopted this behavior B and now some people have adopted this behavior A. Now every node will look at their neighbors and if 40% of their neighbors have adopted the behavior A, that particular node will also adopt the behavior A is what it means. And then we are going to work with a particular graph. So this is the graph we are going to work with. So as you can see that in this network, here is a cluster and the density of this cluster is greater than 0.6. So you can also validate it. Uh, uh, density greater than 0.6 means if you look at every node in this cluster, whether it be node 7, 8, 9, 10 or 11, 60% of their neighbor should be inside this cluster only. So for example, this node 8 here has how many neighbors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has 6 neighbors and out of these 6 neighbors, 4 belongs inside this community. So 4 by 6 is 2 by 3 are inside this uh, its own community which means greater than 60%. Node 7 has all its nodes inside the same cluster. 11 has all its nodes in, uh, neighbors inside the same cluster. And nodes 9 uh, and 10 also have 60% of their neighbors inside this cluster. So we are going to take this network. And after taking this network, we'll experimentally validate that no matter from whichever nodes you start your cascade outside this cluster. So your cascade should start outside this cluster. We'll start our cascade from some set of nodes which lie outside this cluster. And then we'll see that you can never achieve a complete cascade. Your cascade will not be able to impact any of these nodes numbered from 7 to 11. So we'll now code it and see. So for coding, we are going to make this graph manually. We want to work with this graph because if we, here we clearly know that we have this cluster. This is this set and this set has a density greater than 0.6. So let's make our graph first. So I'll create a file here. Let's say create underscore graph dot py and you can whatever edges I'm going to type here, you can actually go back and match it with the figure which we have seen with the graph which we have seen previously. So import network x as annex and then import random and then g equals to annex dot graph and then I'm going to put here edges and these edges are going to be absolutely the edges which were there in the figure. So these are the edges which we have added in this graph. You can go back and match it with the figure which we have seen previously. So here we are getting this graph. We have this graph. Here only uh, in this file only uh, we are actually going to implement our third idea. So let's actually save it as from uh, create graph instead. We should save it as let's say idea 4.py. We are going to implement the fourth idea here. So we have here the graph which we wanted. And next what we want to do is are all the uh, functions are actually going to be the same which were here. So I might consider copy pasting these functions here. So just give me one minute. <coughs> so these are all the basic functions which we have implemented previously. Okay. And... Uh, What else do we need from this first code is, let's take this code also. 
it's going to help us and we have this code here okay so here we have this graph and we have all the necessary functions here what we have to do now is uh, as decided we know that the payoff associated with this action b here is going to be 2 and a here is going to be 3 and then so there were how many nodes in the network if you remember there were 0 to 12 nodes so total 13 nodes in the network and out of these 13 networks the nodes inside are cluster were nodes from 7 to 11 so we can start our cascade from any node from any set of nodes except the node 7 to 11 what i'm going to do is uh, there are actually a lot of possible sets from this list from 0 to 6 and then node number 12 so how many nodes 0 to 6 7 plus 8 so there are 8 nodes so there are how many possible sets on in uh, 8 nodes is 2 to the power 8 so uh, i'm not actually going to take all the two rays to the uh, 2 to the power 8 sets and show you the result i'll take some particular sets here and show you the result so i create a list here let's say list 2 and what is this list 2 this list 2 is a lists of lists so i'll having some lists here so this first list here is the first my uh, set of initial adopters for the first experiment this list is the set of initial adopters for the second experiment and i'll show you that for all these sets so there are different different initial adopters for all of these sets your cascade is not complete it's unable to hit any of the node inside the cluster so let's ma uh, let's make here a list let's say that the first list is 0 1 2 3 so i can take any number of elements here out so any number of elements here uh, except the elements from 7 to 11 which are inside my cluster and let's take 0 2 3 4 and let's also take <coughs> sorry 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, 2 3 4 5 let's take many many sets 3 4 5 6 Um, 4, 5, 6, 12. Let's say 2, 3, 4, 12. And let's take many, many nodes. Let's take 6 nodes. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It seems that if you start your cascade from so many nodes, from six nodes, the cascade should be complete. And rather, let's take an extreme case. Let's take all the nodes except the nodes in the cluster. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 12. So, so except all the nodes in the particular cluster we are talking about. I've taken all the nodes here and we'll see that even in this case, your cascade is unable to become complete. So now what we, we are going to do? for list 1 in list 2 we are going to repeat this experiment Okay, so for every possible set of initial adopters here, what we'll be seeing is that list and then we'll be seeing the final graph and then we'll be seeing whether the cascade is complete or not. So there is nothing much, we just need to execute it and see what's happening here. Python idea 4 dot py. Okay, so 
we have to import my plot lib dot by plot as plt. <coughs> so here is the case when our initial adopters are 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the cluster we were talking about. So this is a cluster having a density greater than 60% and you'll see that in none of the cases this cascade will be able to touch this cluster. So in this case when our cascade starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, this is the final cascade 0, 1, 2 and it remains incomplete. Rather outside the cluster also there are a number of nodes which remain unaffected and then we start from 0, 2, 3, 4 and then you see that cascade, incom cascade is incomplete rather uh, the cascade dies away with time and let's say we start with 1, 2, 3, 4 and then again the cascade dies away with time 2, 3, 4, 5 dies away 3, 4, 5, 6 and sub, uh, having some nodes infected but still it is unable to touch any of the nodes in our cluster from 7 to 11 and then Let's start from 4, 5, 6, 12. When we start from 4, 5, 6, 12, so this is the final graph and we see that the cascade remains incomplete. Then we start from 2, 3, 4 and 12 and then many nodes are infected but again our cluster remains unaffected and then we start from almost 6 nodes. Seems like everybody should be infected at the end but you can still see that the cluster remains unaffected and then this was the extreme case we were talking about. So we start, so these many nodes, almost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nodes in the graph have adopted the behavior A. Even then, our cascade remains incomplete and our cluster remains intact. The cascade is unable to enter this cluster. So we have validated that if there is a cluster of density greater than 1 minus Q in the network, the cascade can never become complete.